First, Mother's Day weekend. Got to take care of our moms. And the moms are going to still love Derek, even though it may be raining <laughs> Either on way. Sunday. I certainly hope so, but the forecast is not looking great mm. uh, for parts of this weekend. It's not going to necessarily rain the entire time, but there will be continuing rain chances here for your weekend plans. Uh, let's get right to your forecast. So we're tracking some rain moving into the region here tonight. Thankfully, as I mentioned earlier, the severe weather threat stayed well to our south, and that's certainly some good news. Uh, not necessarily for them, but we are looking at some wet weather moving into the region here for tonight. More showers for your Friday and then off and on showers heading into your Mother's Day weekend. Temperatures 50s out west, western Maryland looking at 57 right now for Cumberland as well as Hagerstown, 54 for McHenry. Everybody else still running in the low to mid 60s. Elkton down to 58 degrees with an east wind 5 to 15. That's been keeping us cool here throughout the afternoon and one of the reasons why we didn't see much of a severe weather threat materialize here for this afternoon. Down to 56 tomorrow morning. Rain chances steady around 40 to 50 percent probabilities through the overnight hours and into the afternoon tomorrow. As we track low pressure headed our way, you can see that it's been firing up some storms out towards parts of Ohio. And we've had some heavy rain. Actually, had a flash flood warning earlier this evening for Garrett County. They were picking up upwards of about an inch to two inches of rainfall in a short period of time out, out around McHenry. Uh, but this band of showers and storms is going to continue making its way through the region. Again, no severe weather expected tonight. Rumble of thunder, not out of the question, but some downpour. Good sleeping weather for you, and then it looks like that should begin sliding off the east here by tomorrow morning. All associated again with that area of low pressure there, which is basically going to ride right along that front and eventually move offshore. So that's what's basically causing the rainfall across our area. And we're going to be on the backside of the low tomorrow, which means we're going to get some wraparound moisture. That means more showers in the forecast here for your Friday. So keep the umbrella handy through your morning and afternoon plans. We aren't going to get rid of the rain, looks like, until later Friday, and then we actually. Actually, could see a few breaks in the clouds on Saturday morning. So all of Saturday is not going to be wet. It does look like rain will start moving back in with another wave coming in later Saturday. That'll last through Saturday night. That moves by the area, and that's going to continue rain chances into the first part of your Mother's Day. It looks like things will start to dry out later in the day on Mother's Day, and so that's going to set us up actually for a fairly decent Monday start of the week next week. So 65 on Saturday, showers moving in later in the day. Sunday, scattered showers throughout the day uh, for Mother's Day. Timeline throughout the day Saturday, as you can see, most of the day will be dry, partly to mostly cloudy skies, temps in the mid-60s, and then your hourly planner coming up on Mother's Day, temps staying in the low 60s, off and on showers through the morning, early afternoon, then showers tapering off here by the evening hours. Here's your first alert 7 day forecast. And again, wet to close out the week 58 tomorrow, 65 coming up on Saturday, 61 for Mother's Day. And then right now, it looks like Monday is probably going to be the best day on the 7 day forecast. 75 sunshine, rain moves back in Tuesday, Wednesday. And maybe we'll squeak out another dry day on Thursday, but looks like the wet weather will continue off and on here in the next week. Back to you guys. Thank you, Derek.